Hi class, we keep having technical difficulties. As I said, I need to get new uh, technology, like a separate camera perhaps. Um, I'm a little concerned, Mark, because the, the thing's covered a little bit with the, the rubber. All right, can you really see it? Yeah, okay. I'm looking through that. So I guess it's fine. All right, so anyway, um, this is what we had. And as I said, it's catalytic in that we keep kicking out base. And so I wrote this as a potential base. This is, this is a base, this is a KOH that you actually put in. So, as you might guess, if you keep this nice and lined up, you can see this pretty easily, that the base is going to probably pull off this H now, because it's a, just as acidic as the original one. And we will get this anion, and this anion is resonance stabilized, okay? And then the anion is going to undergo another nucleophilic attack on the other carbonyl, and we forgot a phenyl here. All right, and this is your benzyl. This part of it is the benzyl that you made, so that's a very important part of the structure, and you're going to get this anion. Now, again, realize that, the pK of a hydrogen next to a carbonyl is somewhere in the low 20s, high teens usually, somewhere in there. And the addition of benzene ring, a little more resonance, is going to bring it down more to like, you know, like 15 or 16, kind of in that range. So it's more acidic. The pK of water is around 15. So you're going to get a substantial amount of anion. And again, this is like a Grignard. It's another way to make a carbanion without going through all that trouble to insert the metal. This attacks this like a green yard, and it sticks because these are carbons on each side. And it'll pick up a proton from its medium. So it might take a proton off of ethanol. Off an ethanol molecule. Um, look at that. You can kind of see, you know, like a hydrogen bond there. But this will pull this off. And you can just see how natural it would be for that to come off. And all this is like getting tossed around in the solvent. Remember, the proton gets lost. There's a lot of protons around the cell. So that proton can really be anywhere. And we're just saying on paper, at least, that it's it'll eventually... We're saying for, for in, in the solution, too, eventually a proton will get on there and stay there for some finite amount of time. But the system net is anionic. So what happened again? I kicked out more base. And again, I want you to view these two bases as comparable. The base you put in at the beginning, which is quite a bit of base. One pellet of KOH is quite a bit of base. All right, then what will happen? Well, what's going to happen on both sides of this? And I'm going to show this in one step, but on both sides of this, you're going to get some kind of an elimination reaction in that this is going to pull the H these electrons will come in, and this hydroxide will come off. And you could either, that could be either a step, be a stepwise process, or a concerted process. So I could have just pulled it off, made the anion, and then just clipped it in and taken that off. I'll show that on the other side. The other side. So we're getting some kind of elimination. Now, why does it eliminate like that? It eliminates because when it eliminates, it becomes more conjugated. it's still running. What's the time? 3.30. Okay, that's good. Thank God it's still going. And that was the disk space. Okay. So, another way. So, why does it do this? It gets more conjugated. Notice it wasn't conjugated. Now it's conjugated. This is where the color is going to, beautiful color is going to come from. And, um, you're getting that nice, now it's an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. And you might think about it like that. You see, Dr. Mears, that is a terrible elimination because look at what you're doing. You're kicking out a strong base. But remember, we started with a strong base. We started with these two strong bases in our solution. We're ending with those two strong bases in our solution. This has the same energy, but the molecule is going down in energy because it's becoming more conjugated. So in base, it's okay to have base as a, as a leaving group. In acid, it's not possible to have base as a, a good leaving group. So here it's a perfectly respectable leaving group because there's no trade-off. The molecule, though, is going downhill. Okay, so this is this reaction is a tremendously thermodynamically driven reaction. And the product is tremendously thermodynamically stable. So then what happens? The same thing on the other side. And I'm going to show you a different mechanism for this. This would be the formation of an anion. I don't really care which way you write it. I'm almost done. You'll be happy to know. And I'm really sorry 
This is in two segments. I hate it when that happens, but I don't have time tonight to make it twice. So I'm gonna just do this. Okay. Um, okay, so we get that. So another way to write this would be you just make the resonance table as anion, and then this goes in, and this pops off. And again, why? Because we're gonna get this tremendous resonance stabilization. Now when you learn the aldol in class, you'll learn that, or if you've already learned it, some molecules sort of quote-unquote spontaneously eliminate to form the alpha-beta unsaturated compound. And now again, trade off base for base. It's just the one base traded for one base. But a lot of compounds spontaneously do this, like you'll just heat them and they first form the beta hydroxy ketone and then they eliminate to form the alpha beta unsaturated without any force forcing conditions and the reason is again if you have aromatics in the structure that extend the conjugation or something that extends the conjugation this will happen much more readily this product is immensely stable it just dumps out of solution it's dark purple people sometimes get hundred percent yield on this reaction okay so I'm hoping you can get those two done um, and I haven't finished talking about the warfarin reaction, but I'll probably do that next week because that would be too much for you this week. So um, please watch all three of these videos. I should be in class at latest Tuesday, but I plan to be there Monday. Um, don't be worried. I'm okay. Uh, I just got a situation where I had to, to I couldn't be in class. Um, thanks, and thanks, by the way, for all the flowers. I got all these beautiful flowers from you and cards and stuff. It was really nice. So have a good weekend. Watch all these videos. We won't have um, lab lecture next week, but we will the week after that. Okay? So, I'm, and the only reason for that is I want you to pick up some time in the lab so you can get more stuff done. Other things you can do, you know, because you'll have a good four, four and a half hours in lab. You can um, f maybe finish your warfarin reaction, and I'll try to help you with that individually, you know, how you finish the procedure. And... You can also, um, and again, you're not going to have to write up the warfarin procedure. Um, you could also do some of your spectra. Get your IR spectra done of your benzyl, your yellow compound. Um, there will be some NMR time. Try to get some NMRs done. And then you can go into that third week, like, really on top of things and ready to go. Okay, but we're going to kind of de-emphasize the warfarin. That was a little bit of a, a TLC experience for you. These compounds are also going to have to be TLC'd, and you'll be really good at TLC from doing that ex experiment. Um, it was really just a technique experiment for you guys. Um, also, please start turning things in. I, to my knowledge, I've only received one um, of the... You're supposed to write out the order of reactions, you know, just the equations in order, and I've only received one. Now, maybe they were put in some other place, but I've only received one of them, and I really should have gotten them all by now. I'm grading, and I have your lab reports graded, um, I'm going to write you some stuff about how to write a discussion because you've got to learn to write about errors better than, the, than we are right now. Um, those are all done except for a couple and my, someone's going to drop them off in, the, in my accordion file. So look in the accordion file this weekend. You will be getting, a lot of you will be getting, probably all of you will be getting them back. Um, they're okay. They're, they're pretty good. Um, most of you got pretty good results. Um, it's just, again, we got to work a little bit on the discussion before we write this paper, okay? Um, I will be, uh, what else did I want to say? There was one other thing I had to say, but I've forgotten. But anyway, so have a good weekend. Watch all these videos, okay? And again, we will have lab lecture again after, the, after next week. And I'm sorry, sorry for the little break. Maybe it was good for you. Maybe you got some work done or a little rest or something. Okay, thanks a lot. Good night.